Hey everyone, it's Friday, which means it's time for kitchen cocktails. Tonight is lockdown date night in my house, so I'm going to make my wife an espresso martini with a twist, and I've also sorted myself out with a double gin and tonic, because it's Friday and why not? So cheers. The gin I'm drinking is none other than our Darnley's Original Gin. We source the best botanicals from all around the world for this guy, so it's packed full of great flavour. And if you just want a brilliant gin and tonic, then make sure you pick up a bottle. I've paired it with London Essence Co. Great tonics, great sodas, great mixers, low sugar and low calories, and they really help the spirit character shine through. We're doing some great bundle deals on our website right now, so if you fancy a gin and tonic at home like me, make sure you head to darnleysgin.com. So, the espresso martini. Originally created with vodka back in the 1980s in London by Dick Bradsell. You may recognise the name, he's the same guy that popped up a few weeks ago when we made the Bramble, which he's also credited with creating. The story goes that a British model walked into his bar and she was after a drink that would wake her up and that she would also have a great time. And hence the espresso martini was born. I'm actually going to use gin today, I'm going to use our Darnley's original gin, and the reason being is I just love the flavour that it adds to this drink. You're also going to need a coffee liqueur, I've got Mr Black, and you're also going to need a shot of espresso. I've got an espresso machine, you can buy espresso in the shops nowadays, and you can buy instant espresso, whatever you've got is easy. You're also going to need your jar again. And the first thing I want to put in here is 30 mils of gin. So, using my measuring spoons, there's a 15 mil one on there. So I'm going to pop two spoonfuls of Darnley's original gin. And then you want two spoonfuls, 30 mils of your coffee liqueur. And then grab your shot of espresso, if it's hot even better, and get that in there as well. Fill it about half full with ice. And you want to give this a really good hard shake for about 10 to 15 seconds. So once you've given that a good shake, you now have to double strain that into your glass. Now you can use a martini glass or a coupe, like I've got, and you're also going to need the kitchen sieve again. Stop the ice coming out, you need a first strain. So angle your jar like this, sieve over the glass, and then just gently pour in your drink. Make sure you get as much of that in a nice creamy foam on top as well. And the finishing touch, we want a garnish in there. Now usually you would see three coffee beans on top. What I like to add is a little twist of lemon. The zest from the lemon and the kind of bitterness from the coffee and the sweetness from your coffee liqueur is an amazing combination. Makes it a great drink. And what you want to do is you can actually just spin it round your finger, give it a wee, and then just pop it on the top. And there you have it. You've got an espresso martini with a twist. We've made it with gin instead made in your home on a Friday night. Enjoy.